Hey everybody, it's Aaron from GoGrava.com, CEO and founder of Grava Adventure Corporation. So we had our store open today and it was amazing. <laughs> um, friends and family came in, uh, purchased, you know, some t-shirts and stuff like that. And it's really, you know, you feel grateful to have people support you. Um, it's really a, an amazing thing when that happens. And, um, so yeah, tomorrow we're going to be printing t-shirts and getting packages together for everybody who bought Grava gear, your Grava adventure gear. And uh, yeah, and this is, you know, our business is starting and it's taking a lot longer than I thought. And it's a little bit harder than I thought, uh, at least getting set up and, and getting things to the quality that we want them. Uh, there's a lot of testing done, especially like when we get into the, you know, printing your own t-shirts like we're doing it like i mean some people will probably cringe when i say man we bought a t-shirt printer and we're printing our own stuff we're gonna embroider our own hats you know but we're looking at american-made products and we're not mass ordering things from china and then so getting through all of that all that testing process to make sure you're printing good quality t-shirts and uh, getting good quality gear together uh, we do have some bicycle bags uh, for sale uh, I'm waiting. I got to order in for more coming. Uh, some of the ones that we got were not up to the quality standards I would accept uh, as a customer myself. So I held some of those back. Uh, but they're still they still could be used. They're just minor imperfections. But we'll use them for photo shoots, and I'll take I'll ship some home to myself so I can show everybody you know how how to use panniers to go grocery shopping instead of using your car and things like that. Uh, other things that are occurring right now is you get a bit nervous, I guess, when you start thinking too far into the future and what you need to do and how is the business going to run and how are you going to make money and how are you going to pay people's salaries. And uh, really, I think as this adventure has been going along for me, this business adventure uh, <clears throat> is just thinking about, you know, what's in, what do I have to do the next day or the next day? Like YouTube, for instance, right here with this YouTube channel. You know, nobody, hardly anybody's watching this YouTube channel. So, like, I don't think YouTube's going to get me in front of anybody until maybe I have, like, 100 videos up. So, every day, again, it's thinking about what kind of video can I make? What am I going to talk about? It's about the store. It's about getting things together. But I guess the theme of this video is I'm feeling grateful. Uh, I'm feeling grateful that I had the courage to start a business on you know start a business come up with a business plan come up with an idea and see that through to today stores officially open so that's a huge milestone uh, i'm trying not to let all the things i need to do in the future about creating ebook series on how to get out and be active and uh setting up interviews with people who i think are great adventurers and then trying to find normal people to do interviews with uh you know, all of these things that need to be done to support and build and guide a community along the way. Uh, that could take away some of the joy if you think about it too much. You know there's hard work ahead, but today I'm grateful that we got the store open. I'm grateful for the support that uh, that I've seen already. Uh, and so I'll post a video tomorrow as we start printing t-shirts and packaging things. Uh, this is a huge milestone for any company. And I'm gonna keep making videos. like. I know some of them may suck, you know, I'm going to go, but I'm going to try to keep them, you know, small and uh, just so YouTube figures out that I'm not going to quit. I'm never going to quit. I'm going to keep doing this and then they'll start pushing me in front of people. But in the beginning, it's always slow. I think every person that started understands that you need to push through. You're not going to have like these, you're not going to have time to do these really great and benefit video videos every single day. So, you know, I hate to be in a hotel room talking, uh, but it's raining outside and stuff. And I wanted to do this from a park, walking through a park. Uh, but you got to do what you got to do. For all those who bought things today, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you are the first supporters. Uh, Victoria bought the first founder shirt. Uh, thank you, Victoria. Uh, and um, quite a few people I've known or I've worked with or in family and friends have uh, purchased things on our website. So it's a fantastic feeling that you're getting support from everybody uh, that you know, um, or not everybody yet. I'm sure some people are waiting till the weekend or they'll get around to it. But uh, um, yeah, just the support we've already gotten has been amazing. Uh, 
you know, I started this adventure eight months ago with one person in Colombia helping me with an idea. I found two other people that wanted to join forces and come along, and I could have never done it uh, without them. Uh, I keep reminding myself always to be grateful. Uh, just even having the courage of doing something like this, uh, you should be grateful and um, that we're going to do good work in the future. So, yeah, yeah, big day, big day. <laughs> Also very thankful my brother uh, barbecued some chicken for dinner after we got a bunch of work, work done. So that was awesome, too. So I will talk to everybody tomorrow. I'm going to try to get outside tomorrow and uh, maybe discuss. i got to think of a subject to discuss. If anybody has any ideas, anything you want to know about. But I guess tomorrow is going to be all about production. So tomorrow is going to be about producing uh, and making and packing and getting things out to people. And I'm going to do a t uh, TikTok live. Uh, while we do that because i'm just curious to see like is anybody on tiktok gonna watch you know I, I, maybe i challenge everybody on tiktok if they come to my live that we're not going to stop working until we fulfill every order that comes in that day uh that might be fun and then i had a couple other great ideas too i'll, I'll send an email out but the people who buy our our clothes are uh, i'm just going to give them some instructions on how to take a picture of them in their grava gear and we'll put it on the website It'll be right there. That's the product that we're going to sell. And this is the person that bought it um, and try to bring people into this adventure with us, with Grava. So I don't want to talk for too long. I don't have too much interesting to say, but thanks, everybody, for listening. Bye.